The Toto Neo Rest also offers auto opening as an option. The auto opening is located under auto functions and auto open close. Press the enter button to select that. The auto opening function is a, a feature that people either love or they hate. It's a great feature to have for the wow factor. You have a guest come into your home and they walk into the bathroom and the toilet greets them by opening up. Fantastic. Lots of fun. A guaranteed conversation starter. But if you're in a home with a lot of pets, sometimes that auto opening can be annoying. Or if you have a small bathroom and you're going into the bathroom all the time, for things other than using the restroom, sometimes the auto opening can be annoying as well. That's why it's great to know that the auto opening can be turned off. So we've entered into the auto opening settings here. Let's do that again real quick. On the back of the remote, press the menu option, this top button on the side, scroll down to number three, auto function. Go down one, hit enter on auto open close. Right now, auto open close is on. We can select off and hit the enter button. Now auto open closes off. So when you walk into the bathroom, that auto opening lid is no longer going to open. You'll notice when we did that, the other options turned off because there's no auto opening to select options for. So let's go ahead and turn auto opening back on. I'm just gonna hit the arrow key, press the enter button. And now we see our, our next options available. Auto open or auto close delay. So we can select how long it waits before auto closing the, uh, the lid and the seat if the seat's up. Hit the enter button once we've selected our time frame and that's been saved. Auto open delay. So if you know as an example that sometimes your dog or your cat might quickly move past the toilet, maybe you set an auto open delay of 30 seconds. You know that when you walk into the bathroom, you're gonna be there a little bit longer and you don't want the, the pets causing the auto opening to, to take place, but if you're gonna be there for a, a little bit of a longer period of time, you know that that's when you want to open, you can configure that. You can also configure what opens when the auto open takes place. So by default, it is just the lid that opens. Most people keep this default, but also most people don't realize that you can actually change this to the seat and the lid. So if you want the lid to auto open and the seat to auto open, when it senses motion near the toilet, you can turn that on. We're gonna go ahead and change it back to just the lid, but that is something else that we can configure. Now we can go ahead and click back to the remainder of the auto opening features and back again to go to our main menu. Mini Bidets.com, where we sell mini bidets, not mini bidets.